Good evening and welcome to tonight's graduation ceremony. If you would open up your programs to the second page, down at the bottom are the lyrics to the school song. Please stand and sing with me. Good evening and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Bowling Green High School class of 2022. My name is Dr. Matt Fredrickson and I'm the superintendent of the Bowling Green R1 School District and tonight I have the honor of introducing our platform guests. We have Mr. Scott Mullins, high school principal, Ms. Elizabeth Fleer, high school assistant principal, Mrs. Tiffany Custer and Mrs. Katie Splain, high school guidance counselors. Also on stage is Mrs. Holly Delgman, president of the Board of Education. Mr. Bob Kirkpatrick, Board of Education vice president. And Mr. Scott Smith, Board of Education secretary. And board member, Mr. Alan Chandler. Board member, Mr. Scott Hunt. Board member, Mr. Roger Colbert. And board member, Ms. Tamara Scherter. I'm so proud of this class and what they've accomplished since first meeting them during their eighth grade year when I first came to Bowling Green as your superintendent. And I know that you're very thankful for your teachers and the support you've gotten from your families. And if I might, some applicable reflections just really quickly. To our faculty, to our teachers here, I cannot emphasize enough the impact that you have made on these students. You nurture, you lecture, you discipline, you rejoice, you feel sympathy, even pity, and at some times you exercise mercy. You share your knowledge with them, but you do also learn from them. As much as you influence them, they have also found a way into your life. Perhaps someday they will even write you a thank you note, thank you for what you've given them. But remember this, a teacher without a student speaks only to desks and the whiteboard. These students have allowed you to fulfill your calling and exercise your gift of teaching. The Talmud says, whoever teaches a student, teaches that student's student, and so on until the end of man's generations. And there's no doubt we will all teach someone at some point in our lives. This is a tremendous faculty. I have the utmost respect for you. And I know all of our students do. How about we have our faculty take, uh, take a stand. Let's all show our appreciation for this wonderful faculty. <laughs> and finally, I say to the students, hold on to hope. Each of you are here tonight full of anticipation, I know. You know the work it takes to get where you're going. And where this preparation leads can be amazingly unique from person to person and very rewarding. And you will move from here to somewhere else, 
or to college, or the workforce, new relationships, and eventually a new place to call home, all the confidence in the world will not keep boulders out of your path. You will be hurt, beaten down, and discouraged. You'll be tempted to give up hope. But look up. Rely on your teachers. Rely on those that are, that are, that are giving you guidance and listen to them. Our culture works very hard to plant seeds of doubt in your mind. You're bombarded with advertising, social media that seeks to convince you that you're dissatisfied with all you possess. Don't believe the lie. You've worked hard. You've been gifted with abilities and talents, which you can not only can, but will have an impact on the world around you. But you have to hold on to your oath. View the world around you with the proper perspective. And I'd like to close my little section here with a, a, a poem by Emily Dickinson, which says, hope is the thing of feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea Yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. So hold on to hope. This time, it's my privilege to introduce Miss Rachel Buttram and the BGHS Senior Choir, accompanied by Mrs. Marcia Tapin. The seniors in the concert choir have chosen Almost There as the selection that they will be performing.
Thank you, Ms. Buttram, Ms. Stapen, and members of the choir. Before we begin with the presentation of awards, I'd like to dispense with a little bit of housekeeping we do each year. First of all, I'd like to thank the Board of Education that was introduced earlier. They do a very big job uh, that really nobody knows about unless something's going wrong and then they hear about it. It's very thankless, um, but they, you know, they get rewarded in the fact that they know that their community is a better place for what they've done. So please give the board a nice round of applause. Also, I'd be a little amiss, there's a lot that goes into a graduation and putting it on, uh, music, organization, printing up the programs, uh, lots of people I could thank, but one person that everything goes through, uh, nothing gets in the graduation without her saying so or her having a part of it, and that's Ms. Tina Sprague from the office. If you see her, thank her, and let's give her a big round of applause. Next, Wagner Photography is here taking professional photos. Uh, they'll be down in front to my right during the handing out of the diplomas. Uh, you're perfectly welcome to take your own. Just try to make sure that you avoid interrupting uh, their work with, uh, with photography. Parents and guardians, whenever your son or daughter is recognized tonight for an award or as they walk across the stage to receive their diploma, we would like you to stand at your seat and be recognized with your child for your contribution to their education. Our awards this evening are designed to recognize specific members of the class of 2022 for their accomplishments over the last four years. These awards are always extremely competitive and this year was no exception. The faculty nominates and selects the award winners, and this year it was especially agonizing as we had to choose just a few winners from a large pool of qualified candidates. The class of 2022, for instance, includes members of a national championship ag knowledge team. <laughs> If you'd hold your applause, it's worth the applause, but uh, please hold your applause. But they also have an individual state champ and runner-up golfer. They have a state champion ag meets team, a state champ star farmer. They have members of a final four and state champion softball teams, regional FBLA officers, all state football players who made it to the quarterfinals, state cross country team members, a lot of conference champions, and 17 students with a 4.0 or higher grade point GPA. It has been a really great four year run for our seniors. Now I will turn it over to Ms. Fleer to announce the winners of our individual senior awards. For our individual senior awards, please come to the stage if your name is called to be recognized with Mr. Mullins. Each winner will receive a certificate and a monetary award in their graduation packet. The, de the Deserving Student Award is awarded to a student or students that are respectful, remains positive in adversity, and has overcome the odds to do well. This year's recipients of the honors are Ivy Johnson and Anthony McGlasson.
One girl and one boy are recognized annually with the BGHS Courtesy Award. Students who earn this award are considerate of their classmates and, and faculty, friendly, polite, and eager to help whenever help is needed. The recipients of this honor are Grace Twelman and Jordan Miller. BGHS annually recognizes one girl and one boy with the Participation Award. This award is given to students who are involved in a variety of activities, hold positions of leadership in school organizations, and are actively involved in community organizations. This year's recipients are Megan McMillan and Charles Bowen. And lastly, the title of Mr. and Miss BGHS is awarded annually to a boy and girl who maintain a minimum of a 3.0 grade point average, actively participate in a variety of activities, demonstrate courtesy and respect for the faculty and fellow students, and promotes the values and goals of BGHS. This year's recipients are Kennedy Grimsley and DJ Feldman. Next, we'll have Ms. Lubricht um, come up and she will be handing out the department awards. Each year, the departments pick and we recognize the outstanding student in each subject. Faculty members in each department choose the most outstanding senior based on the number of classes they have taken in that department and the student's grade point within those departmental classes. Students, if your name is called, please stand and face the crowd to be recognized. You will receive a medal and certificate in your graduation packet. We ask that the crowd wait for all students to be recognized before we give them a round of applause. Outstanding student in agricultural classes is Bailey Graves. <laughs> Outstanding student in business education is Lily Dameron. Outstanding student in family and consumer science is Olivia Walker. We have a tie for fine arts. So outstanding students in fine arts is Samantha Smith and Wyatt Houseworth. We also have a tie for foreign language. Outstanding students in foreign language is Grace Twelman and Elise Walker. And we also have another tie for language arts. Outstanding students in language arts is Madison Pruitt and Samantha Smith. 
Outstanding student in math is Elise Walker. Outstanding student in science is Elise Walker. Outstanding student in social studies is Mason Humphrey. Congratulations. At this time, uh, I would like to call Ms. Custer, Tiffany Custer, to the stage to help me pass out the academic awards. First, we'd like to recognize the salutatorian, Chloe Cronkey. Will you please join us on the stage? Chloe will attend Truman State University, and she will be a biology slash pre-med student there in the fall. She is the daughter of Felicia and the late John Cronkey. Congratulations, Chloe. It is now time to honor the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Elise Walker. Will you please come forward? <laughs> Elise will also attend Truman State University this fall and also major in biology pre-med. She is the daughter of Shannon and Darren Walker. now honor and recognize the top 10% of the class of 2022. Graduates, as I call your name, please stand and face the crowd to be recognized. As members of the top 10% are recognized, we would ask that you hold your applause until all nine are standing. Elise Walker, Chloe Cronkey, Samantha Smith, Emma Craig, Grace Twelman, Paige St. Alban, Madison Pruitt, Lillian Dameron, and Adam Twelman. Bowling Green High School plans to gradually switch to the cum laude system, which would recognize students for a combination of success on both their GPAs and their ACT scores. Those students who achieved the highest honor, summa cum laude, for a combination of a minimum of a 4.05 GPA and a minimum of a 26 ACT, and please stand as I call your name to be recognized, are Emma Craig, Chloe Cronkey, Madison Pruitt, Samantha Smith, Grace Twelman, and Elise Walker. Thank you. Magna Cum Laude honors for scoring a minimum of 3.95 on the GPA and a 22 on the, or more on the ACT. Those students are Meredith Betts, 
Lillian Dameron, Morgan Graver, Bailey Graves, Josh Holmes, Wyatt Houseworth, Ivy Johnson, Marissa Kingsley, Miranda Liber, Alexis Robb, Austin Scherter, Paige St. Aubin, and Adam Twelman. And for the cum laude, they need to have at least a 3.8 GPA and at least a 20 on the ACT. Those students are Hannah Fox, Alexis Home, or Alexandra Holmes, Cooper Keel, Briley Sparks, Tanner Turner, and William Twelman. Good evening. We would like to start by recognizing the students that are eligible for the a scholarship program. In order to be eligible for the a program, students must graduate with a 2.5 grade point average or higher, have at least 95% cumulative attendance, perform 50 hours of unpaid tutoring or mentoring, and maintain a record of good citizenship. These students will receive two years virtually free tuition at a participating community college or vocational college in Missouri. Students who have received this recognition, please rise. The generosity of our community and the scholarship opportunities they provide are always valued. Our students are very appreciative of the financial support and the vote of confidence they receive from their hometown. These opportunities are provided by local businesses, statewide corporations, and individual memorials. Members of the class of 2022 will receive a total of over $35,000. At this time, it is my honor to announce the winners of local and school scholarships in alphabetical order. Please hold your applause until all the recipients have been recognized. Graduates, as I call your name, please stand and face the audience. Parents, please stand and be recognized with your graduate. Callie Bailey, Pike County, Missouri Farm Bureau, First Baptist Church of Vandalia, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the McCune Davis families, Richard Baker Memorial, sponsored by Pogue Ford Bowling Green, Karma Lynn Niemeyer Medical Memorial, Young Farmers and Ranchers, Pike and Lincoln Cattlemen's Association, and Missouri State Fair Scholarship. Meredith Betts. Champ Clark Memorial Post 5553, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the 1962 Bobcat basketball team, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville Cougar Pride Scholarship. Charles Bowen, MFA Scholarship. Zoe Brandenburger, CTA Future Teacher, Moberly Area Community College Superintendent Scholarship, and the Sarah Straubey Anders Memorial Elementary Education. Elizabeth Brown, Champ Clark Auxiliary Post 5553. Braden Buffington, William Woods University Athletic Golf Scholarship. Caden Chandler, Edwin M. Porter, and the FBLA Scholarship. Casey Clark, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Wanda Palmer Sharpmack. Emma Craig, Ted Rowe Ag Memorial, Southeast Missouri State Copper Dome Scholarship, Pike and Lincoln County Cattlemen's Association Scholarship. Lillian Dameron, Missouri Bankers Foundation, 
George Keith Memorial, FBLA, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Mildred Betts, Bramblett Memorial, Community State Bank Senior of the Month Scholarship. Daniel Fellman, George Keith Scholar Athlete, University of Missouri Columbia Excellence, and the Missouri Boys State Scholarship. Hannah Fox, Edwin M. Porter, Bramblett Memorial, University of Missouri Columbia Excellence Award. Morgan Graber, People's Savings Bank, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the class of 1981 and American Red Cross Scholarship. Bailey Graves, Pike County Fair Board Association, GFWC Air Study Club, George Keith Memorial, Edwin M. Porter, People's Bank and Trust, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the class of 1980, William K. Mallory Memorial, Northwest Missouri State University Distinguished Scholar, Northwest Missouri State University Computer Science Visit Day, Adopt a Bearcat, Alita and Dean Hubbard, FFA, CNH, Industrial Aftermarket Solution. Kennedy Grimsley, Sarah Straubey Anders Memorial Education, Westminster's President Scholarship, and the Westminster's Alumni Sibling Award. Reno Hayes, Missouri Gaming Association, Project 21, OPA Kenneth L. Short Memorial, Northeast Correctional Center Personnel Club, and the Jefferson County Veterans Memorial. Alexandra Holmes, Talbot Memorial, Elks Lodge Post 791, Missouri State Promise, and the Access Missouri Program. Wyatt Houseworth, Culver Stockton College Academic and Music Scholarship. Mason Humphrey. Culver Stockton College Athletic Football Scholarship. Culver Stockton College Legacy Award. And the Hilltop Distinguished Scholar. Ivy Johnson. Dare Role Model. Luke Jones. Pike County Fair Board Association Vocational Scholarship. Cooper Keel. Edwin M. Porter, Central Methodist University Deans, and the Central Methodist University Athletic Baseball. Marissa Kingsley, Bowling Green Chamber of Commerce, the Home Care and Hospice Foundation of Pike County Nursing Scholarship. Lexi Kelling, Missouri Cattlemen's Scholarship, Pike and Lincoln County Cattlemen's Association, Missouri Angus Queen, Mo Angus Foundation, Select Sires Mid-America, Transova Genetics, MFA Incorporated, Sullivan Supply, Ex Express Rangers Progressive, and Blackhawk College Livestock Scholarship. Chloe Cronkey, Bowling Green Lions Club, Sierra Flowers Perkins Memorial, Pike County Fair Board Association, Pike County Mutual Insurance, George Keith Scholar Athlete, Edwin M. Porter, People's Bank and Trust, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the 1962 basketball team, American Red Cross, Bowling Green Rotary, Bramblett Memorial, Truman State University Merit, Truman State University Legacy, and the Missouri Girls State Scholarship. Kelly Lewis, Kaleo Dade Memorial, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the 1962 basketball team, and Moberly Area Community College Superintendent Scholarship. Miranda Liber, Lindenwood University Merit Scholarship. Allison Marshall, Northwest Missouri State University Merit Scholarship, TRIO SSS Bridge Scholarship. Megan McMillan, Michael Dowdy Memorial, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Michael Ogden, Junior Ellis Memorial, 
University of Missouri St. Louis Athletic Track and Cross Country, University of Missouri St. Louis Chancellor's Academic, and the University of Missouri St. Louis Louis Leader Scholarship. Isabella Orff, American Legion Auxiliary, George Trimble Trust Fund, and the Sarah Straubey Anders Memorial Elementary Education. Cody Pogue, Quincy University Robert Blazer, Quincy University Athletic Baseball. Madison Pruitt, George Trimble Trust Fund, BJHS Alumni Association in memory of Rose Ann Niemeyer, University of Missouri Columbia Bright Flight, University of Missouri Columbia Chancellor's Award, Alexis Robb, GFWC Air Study Club, BJHS Alumni Association in memory of Tim Brown, Missouri Association of Mutual Insurance Companies, Pike County, Missouri Farm Bureau, Kathy Tinsley Educational, CTA Future Teacher, Elks Lodge Post 791, Edwin M. Porter, Bramblett Memorial, Sarah Straubey Anders Memorial Elementary Education, Northwest Missouri State University Academic Excellence. Austin Scherter, Pike County, Missouri Farm Bureau, Edwin M. Porter, and the Scherter Brothers Ag Scholarship. Andalyn Sherman, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Helen Caldwell, Culver Stockton College President Scholar, Culver Stockton College Band, Culver Stockton College Fine Arts, and the Northeast Correctional Center Personnel Club. Samantha Smith, Pascal Lawson, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Phil Reynolds, Champ Clark Shuey, Culver Stockton Academic, Culver Stockton Marching Band, Culver Stockton Fine Arts, Culver Stockton Pillars, and the Quiver River Electric Scholarship. Briley Sparks, University of Missouri Columbia Excellence, Paige St. Aubin, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Mildred Betts, American Red Cross Scholarship. Tanner Turner, Maryville University Saints Scholarship, <laughs> NISC Scholarship. Adam Twelman, Bobcat Booster Leslie J. Calvert, Bob Battern Memorial, Scherter Bros Ag, and the University of Missouri Columbia Curators. Grace Twelman. Pike County Re Retired School Personnel, Bob Battern Memorial, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the 1962 basketball team, Cleo Bankhead, Junior Ellis Memorial, Bowling Green Rotary, Truman State True Merit Scholarship, Truman State University President's Honorary, Lillian Waddell. Pike County Farm Bureau, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of Donald Ingram, Junior Ellis Memorial, ENT West, Morris Family 4-H, W.G. Mitchell, Missouri State Fair Youth and Ag, and the Pike County Young Farmers and Ranchers. Elise Walker, Bobcat Booster Leslie J. Calvert Memorial, BGHS Alumni Association in memory of the 1962 basketball team, Missouri Contractors Association of Eastern Missouri, Mitchell, Truman State University President's Honorary, Truman State University Merit, Truman State University President Eugene and Alta Fair Scholarship. Amanda Wilkinson, Edwin M. Porter, BJHS Alumni Association in memory of the class of 1959, Sarah Straubey Anders Memorial Elementary Education, and Culver Stockton Band Scholarship.
It is now my pleasure to recognize those students who have planned to join the military. We have one student who has already enlisted and completed basic training with the United States Army Reserves, Haley Dow. We also have one student who plans on enlisting in the Army after graduation, Adam Engel. At this time, it is my privilege to, do, to introduce the Bowling Green High School Senior Class President, Mr. Austin Scherter. Austin will attend the University of Missouri Columbia in the fall and major in business finance. Austin is the son of Paul and Linda Scherter. Our first speaker of this evening is Reno Hayes. Reno will attend Jefferson Community College in the fall and major in culinary arts. Reno is the son of Christina and Randy Hayes. This is addressed to the mighty mighty Bobcats. Students, staff, and proud parents, I welcome you to the Bowling Green High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. Thank you for being, being here today. We are happy to have you here today as we celebrate the years we have spent working hard to reach this checkpoint. Remember that today is not a goodbye. It is only good luck and see you later. As our high school career comes to an end, we reflect on our journey from freshmen to seniors. The past four years have, without a doubt, been a miraculous experience. Like all journeys, our time here at Bowling Green High School has had many ups as well as downs. We have faced many challenges, but we are still here. Our most notable feat was the coronavirus pandemic, which sprung into our lives in 2019. Although it has not faded away entirely yet, we managed to push through its greatest attempt at preventing us from the knowledge and experience that we have had every right to acquire. If this does not tell you how mighty the Bobcats of Bowling Green are, then our athletic and academic accomplishments certainly will. My fellow peers, do you remember what it was like to walk these halls for the very first time? Do you remember what it felt like to walk among the giants of the upperclassmen that we had once looked up to? I certainly do. I remember the chaos and confusion of finding classes that at first seemed non-existent. I remember looking up at those giants in fear of judgment, criticism, and humiliation as I wandered my way around the labyrinth of these halls. These very same halls we navigate now without second thought. Do you remember who taught you how to navigate these halls for the first time? For me, it was the very same giants I had looked up to that taught me. They reached out to guide me, knowing that they were just like you and I. Look around and tell me, have we not become those same giants now? Have you guided these underclassmen as we were once guided? I know that I have. I'm sure I can speak for all of us when I say that our sophomore year was a very slow, but a unique experience. The year started off at a creep, but it seemed to freeze in time when the pandemic hit. A simple call or email delivered us news that at first seemed like a gift from above. Our winter break had become a winter wonderland. We had no school, no homework, and no worries. At least that was our first thought. However, with only a few months, we were back to class through a screen. A whole new pandemic had just sprung for the students and teachers, and talk about a lockdown. Despite the Trojan horse of extended winter break, we managed to fight through. 
Looking back on it now, it seems like time had skipped forward until we were thrusted into our junior year. Junior year was a difficult experience for everyone, faculty and students alike. For the majority of our time, we had cloth strapped to our faces and plastic coverings keeping us from a long-awaited breath of fresh air. As frustrating as that was, it kept most of us from a two-week nightmare of online classes and makeup work. There were many, many unfortunate students and teachers who had to experience those two weeks of confusion and frustration. Some of us were unfortunate enough to have gone through it more than just once. My heart goes out to them, along with the missing assignments and drop grades that may or may not have accompanied you in those times. Finally, we have made it all the way to our senior year. At this point, we can look back and see a change in ourselves and the others around us. The new faces, the new friend groups, the old faces, and the old friend groups. Although not everyone who started this journey has made it this far, I am proud of each and every one who has worked hard to be here today. The countless nights that we have stayed up late to finish schoolwork, the hours of dreadful studying for exams and tests, and the years of focus and hardship have finally paid off. Next, we can look forward to our future and what our lives will become. Whether it's college, work, joining the military, or other plans, we know that there is still work to be done. I firmly believe that each and every one of us has a bright and successful future. As Mark Twain once said, the two most important days in your life is the day you are born and the day you find out why. I am very proud to be a part of the Bowling Green class of 2022 because of the unique, diverse, and hardworking peers that I have grown up with. When I look around at my peers, I see unlimited potential. Any one of us can become anything we put our heart and mind to. We are strong, we are determined, we are proud, and we are incredibly talented. We are the mighty, mighty Bobcats of Bowling Green High School. And let's show the world just how mighty we are. Thank you. I will now introduce our next speaker, Allison Marshall. She will attend the Northwest Missouri State University in the fall and major in business management. Allison is the daughter of Angela and Troy Matlock and Shannon uh, Marshall. In high school, there are many, many lessons taught by the teachers over four years. The times we have sat down to take notes is what I would have to guess pretty close to countless. So is the amount of times that people have complained about their hands aching from us writing so much. Needless to say, no matter what we say when we come home, we do in fact learn. However, some of the knowledge we come out of high school with may not be what parents think we learn in school or the notes that teachers desperately try to get us to memorize. For me, probably the most important lesson came at the end of my junior year by an eight-year-old, just a little bit smarter than I was. I had helped out in his class for part of the year and was riding on the bus with him to his end of the year field trip. I was making small talk with him and learning all about his life. Though now I can't remember all of the details of everything that he told me, I do remember that he said that 20 was the best age to be. Though I do not remember his reasoning, he did have a pretty solid argument to fit his statement. This made me laugh, and I expressed to him that if 20 was the best, then I was almost to the peak of my life. Then I asked him if that was the age he wanted to be now. 
He thought for a few seconds about this, and then he told me, very seriously, that 20 was the best, but he didn't want to wish his life away. Well, this really made me laugh. I couldn't help it. It was such a serious thing to say, and it was a second grader saying it. After that, I had told the story a couple of times, then I forgot about it, until around the middle of my senior year. I had thought about how many times I had said the previous year that I was just ready to be a senior. And now that I am, I realized it is fun, but it's a lot more work than I was prepared for. So I just started saying that I couldn't wait until I leave for college. Then I would have more time and more freedom. Then it kind of hit me that I was wishing my life away. Instead of living in the moment, good or bad, I was living somewhere else. My mind was in the place, the future that I'd hoped for. It is okay to be excited about something or to look forward to a moment ahead, but to let a moment pass because we are so fixated on the future or the past, well, that's just a waste of time. I think most of us do this though. I know I can't be the only one. We live wishing each moment was over already in a way. Instead of appreciating the good things about it, we hope for an end to it. Now there is an end, the end to high school, an end to the four years that were great, filled with adventures, laughter, and fun. The end to high school also marks some of the hardest times that some of us have had, stressing about finals, quarantine, and learning new lesson are all things that we leave behind now. With this, though, comes a new beginning. We have a whole future and a whole life ahead just waiting for us to not only live it, but to enjoy each and every moment of it. And there are so many people that helped us get to where we are, to this particular end. Teachers, family, and friends have had a direct effect on us, teaching us and guiding us. They are the reason that we were kept sane through the chaos of high school. Some people have had an indirect effect on us getting past these last four years. People doing things behind the scenes that indirectly, but very effectively shaped us. Our fellow classmates through the years, or any sort of staff here, or anyone in the community that showed us some kindness or some muchly appreciated patience, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here, graduating the same strong, motivated students that we all are. I have no doubt that each and every one of my classmates will live their lives the best they can. Even though we have made mistakes, there is no doubt there. I do hope that we can all take a minute, every so often, every day even, and live in the moment. The past helped to shape us, and the future will eventually be what defines us. But now, right now, is when we get to choose who we want to be. I want to be everything that the Bowling Green High School Class of 2022 represents. I want to be kind and patient like our parents. I want to be hardworking like the teachers and staff here that have motivated us through the years. I want to be brave like my fellow classmates who stand up for absolutely everything that they believe in. I want to take in each second as it comes and not waste a single one as my second grade student taught me. I hope that whenever we cross paths next year and five years, or even more than 10 years from now, we can all say that we have been living our lives the way we have been shown and the way we have been the last 13 years we have all spent together. The past four years have not been easy, but we've made it past them. This is how I am certain that the class of 2022 is going to tackle anything that life throws our way. Thank you.
Sorry, uh, it's kind of like my uh, desk in my office. It gets a little crazy at times with papers. At this time, we will present the class of 2022. I would like to thank the board members who will be helping me pass out the diplomas this evening and the president of the board, Holly Delgman, as she assists and leads the diploma presentation. We ask that you avoid the area stage right where the Wagner photographers are set up. Elise Madison Walker. Chloe Jeanette Cronkey. Charles Lewis Bowen. Jordan Ray Brawley. Braden Allen Buffington. Caden Joseph Allen Chandler. Casey James Allen Clark. Kale Anthony Crowder. Adam Christian Engel. Daniel Joseph Feldman. Tristan Nicholas Gibbs. Carlos Andrew Gallagher. Peyton Jared Green. Reno William Hayes. Haley Ray Dowell. Juliana Marie Davis. Graceland Nicole Darnell. Lillian Marie Dameron. Emma Elise Craig. Elizabeth Marie Brown. Zoe Jade Brandenburger. Desiree Alexis Bono. <laughs> Meredith Joyce Betts. Callie Ann Bailey.
James Colton Hearn. Braden Michael Heidecker. Joshua Allen Holmes. Wyatt James Houseworth. Seth Michael Huber. Mason Joseph Humphrey. Joseph David Johnson, Jr. Luke Alexander Jones. Cooper Michael Keel. Benjamin Levi Lucas. Charles Bradley Martin the second. Ethan Joseph Martin. Charity Rose Johnson. Lauren Jennifer Jeffress. Jessica Leanne Engel. Alexandra Lee Holmes. Riley Elizabeth Harrison. Kennedy Brianne Grimsley. Cadence Nicole Green. Bailey Michelle Graves. Morgan Marie Graver. Hadley Marie Freeman. Hannah Elaine Fox. Laney Nicole Finley. Anthony Dean McGlasson. Nolan Ryan Miller. Jordan Maxwell Miller. Owen Edward Niemeyer. Malachi Joel Parsons. 
Cody Lee Pogue. Joseph Lee Potter. Dylan Ray Reese. Austin Jacob Schurter. Chase Tyler Smith. Kyle Lane Strabi. Caleb Christopher Thompson. Isabella Faith Orf. Sheldon Victoria Morris. Megan Renee McMillan. Haley K. McGlasson. Allison Rose Marshall. Miranda Grace Liber. Kelly Leanne Lewis. Alexis Ida Kelling. Marissa Bell Kingsley. Bailey Ann Kent. Molly K. Johnson. Ivy May Johnson. Adam Richard Twellman. William Harry Twellman. Samuel Anthony Wells. Grace Ann Twellman. Tanner Colleen Turner. Katrina Marie Turnbow. Paige Catherine St. Alban. Briley Nicole Sparks. Savannah Neosha Smith. Samantha Rose Smith. Samantha 
Andalyn Rose Sherman. Alexis Anakin Robb. Sabrina May Reese. Madison Elizabeth Pruitt. Casey Joe Orff. Lillian Abigail Waddell. Olivia Nicole Walker. Amanda Lynn Wilkinson. Siobhan Elizabeth Williamson. Graduates, please stand. On behalf of the faculty and administration of Bowling Green High School, I hereby attest that these individuals have met the graduation requirements of Bowling Green High School as set forth by the Board of Education and the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me as a principal of Bowling Green High School to present to you the class of 2022. Austin, would you please come to the stage to do the honors? Mr. Mullins, the class of 2022 has one last request. Before we move our tassels, if you would, please lead us in one last whose house, our house. <laughs> I'd be happy to. <laughs> it's gotta be good, it's your last one. Who's out? Ours! Who's out? Ours! Who's out? Classmates of the class of 2022, please move your tassel from the right to the left side. 